Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite bags of summertime. But I'm gonna be doing this a little bit differently. I am going to be sharing my five top favorite contemporary brands and my five top favorite luxury brands. It's been a while since I have sat in front of a camera, so sorry, I'm gonna flood my words a little bit today. But I'm also going to do them ranked from number five being my least favorite to number one being my most of each set of bags with pros and cons. So before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Melinda. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm so happy you're with me again. I hope that you would take just a moment and hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell. So again, one more thing before we get into this, I have some beautiful pieces to share with you from Lily Silk. Lily Silk is currently having their 12th anniversary sale and I am so happy to be partnering with them again and I thank them for sponsoring this video. Um, I love their silk products. I have had their products for, I've been working with them for a couple of years now and I really, really love their products. They gave me this gorgeous, gorgeous blouse which I will be inserting uh, more close-ups of. I love the detail, like look at the, um, <laughs> I'll come up with the word, the wrists. I'm, I'm telling you, it's been a long time since I have sat, you know, it's one thing when you're walking in talking about stores. I love also it has this bow detail so you don't have to have jewelry, a hidden placket. I always think a hidden placket is absolutely beautiful. So I'm very excited to share this with you. I have two coupon codes, two discount codes that I'm going to be linking for you down below. And, um, just want to make sure there was that I'm not missing something that I wanted to say. They are while they're doing this big sale, they have limited time surprise gifts and they have a lot of different offers on there, so check them out. I'm going to show you the other items that they sent me and I'm also going to be inserting footage of how beautifully they become uh, be become they come packaged they have the most beautiful packaging and it's actually eco-friendly which just absolutely that amazes me because they're so pretty <laughs> when you'll see them they have the most beautiful ribbons and bows so they gave me also this beautiful scarf and i am going to insert mod shots because clearly you would not wear this together but it is so so pretty and I love it in my hair. I love it as a scarf around my neck. The detail to this is just amazing. Silk is absolutely so good for your skin. It is moisturizing, it is hypoallergenic. Um, it is actually cooling. I sleep, I'm a very, very hot sleeper, and I sleep on their silk pillowcases, which also helps my hair a lot. And speaking of hair, so I, I already took the ribbon off, but just to show you how pretty that their packaging comes, I got some silk scrunchies. These are what I wear absolutely every single day. So I got navy and gold. Uh, this is the only thing I will wear in my hair. It does not leave any line of demarcation. It does not hurt your hair. They're so, so soft. I cannot recommend these enough. I've given a ton of these to my daughters. I swear by these, they're so good. And then they also gifted me with the softest and the most comfortable sports bra that I have ever tried on. It is stretchy, it is so soft, and I've just been wearing this just around the house. But the neatest thing about this is I've never seen, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for a package. Um, I have never seen a sports bra come with extra cups. I think that is just awesome that it comes with the extra removable padding, the removable cups. So you have that there and um, look at the back of it. I mean, it's just, it's not gonna dig into your skin. It's not gonna leave marks on your skin. Um, I just, I really, I love their stuff. I love it. I love silk. It feels so good. And a lot of you ask me when I do Lily Silk videos, 
Um, I do have pajamas, I have pillowcases, I have a lot of the scrunchies, um, I have a lot of pieces from them and a lot of blouses. How to take care of your silk. I just wash it on the delicate cycle, line dry it, and then I have a steamer and the wrinkles just come out just so easily. It's very, very easy to take care of. Um, so yes, they have such a huge a range of products. So I want you to check that out and I will be, again, I'll be linking those coupon codes down below. I love this color. This one is emerald green and I will also link all the things that they sent me down below should you be interested in this blouse or any of the other items. And I want to let you know also they run true to size. So I am wearing a size medium which is what I usually wear. It, just, it depends on the company, but I always err on the side of caution and get a medium before I get a small. And I just can't, I can't stand a blouse where you can't move, where you can't drive, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes, very, very comfortable. Recommend them very highly. So now let's get into those handbags and let's rank them and see which ones make number one. Okay, so my package just came, so I'm free. The phone is off. Hopefully it won't go off again. I am going to, well, it won't because I turned it off. But anyways, I'm going to start with contemporary first. And I'm going to start with number five being my least favorite up to my most favorite and share pros and cons with you. So number five is my Aspinall of London uh, Midi Mayfair in the taupe color. I think this is a gorgeous, elegant bag. There is a lot of pros about this bag. I think this patent leather is gorgeous. Um, I used to have some vernis bags from Louis Vuitton and you would touch them and you would have fingerprints everywhere. You do not have that with the Aspinall bags. I think that the faux croc pattern is beautiful. I think the lock is beautiful. So let's get into the cons. There is a back magnetic pocket here, but it's really too small to use for anything, being that it's patent leather, it's really hard to open. I used this bag to go shopping with my daughters one day. I thought we were going to have lunch and go to one store. Big mistake. I was with my maximalist daughter, my minimalist daughter. That's what we do. When all of us are together, we go to all the stores. So I didn't end up purchasing anything that day. I think I got something from Target, but my phone kept buzzing and I had to keep getting in and out of the bag. And I took them out to lunch and I paid for lunch and I, it was a, um, not Chipotle, but something kind of like that, you know, where you're like, it was some sort of Mexican food place where you, anyways, where you have to like pay standing up. So it's, this is a pistol. When you have this on crossbody, period. It is a pistol. There is a reason you see Kate Middleton just holding it all the time and not getting in and out of it. It does have a very nice crossbody strap and I do like this a lot. It's a good length. The inside of it is a, well let me sit this here. I don't have enough room on my desk. It's a beautiful pale pink. It is nice and it is roomy, but the con for me of this one is if you are going to be doing errands and you need to get in and out, in and out of your bag, I needed, it was like, I think it was in the spring, I need a tissue, I always need tissue, I have allergies here, but it was, it was fussy, just period, it was fussy. Has feet, that's a huge pro. I would recommend this one, but I would recommend this one more like, like I said, if you're not going to be needing to get in and out. I did wear this to another um, occasion this year, something that I didn't need to get in and out of, and it was you know, lovely and elegant. So coming in at number four is another Aspinall of London bag, and this is my taupe Lottie in the size small. They now have a micro, a small, and then they have a large that is quite comparable to the Chanel Jumbo. So the pros on this, this magnetic pocket, since it's leather, well, they're both leather, but since it's pebbled leather, you can get your phone in there. So I do like that. I think another pro is this closure. It's super cute. Another pro I've got stuffing in this is that you can just change it super simple from a shoulder bag to a crossbody bag. I own this in black as well, and that is the bag that I always carry to business functions. 
always. It's under the radar, it's simple, it's elegant, and um, I, you know, but I'm not really into black in the summertime. The con, oh, another pro, you got feet. The cons to this to me, I just, I'm not crazy about this center divider. You've got a really good space here. I just am not fond of center dividers. It just, you can fit a card holder in here. I do use it, but I wish it didn't have a center divider. I prefer big open spaces. And that's also would be a con with the, um, the Mayfair Midi as well. So the next one is from Marc Jacobs. And I picked this up. I'm sorry, I straightened my hair today and it's wanting to get into my, my mouth. <laughs> the next one I picked up this summer from Marc Jacobs and it is the mini tote bag. There is nothing mini whatsoever about this bag. This is a mini bag. <laughs> this is the color um, Morning Glory. And I think this is such a fun, fun bag. I actually picked this one up also in the red. Um, but the, the handle came like with little slices in it. And I know it wasn't a box cutter because it was consistent like around the handle. And it is, if you love red, that is a true, true, true pop of red. It is absolutely a beautiful color. Um, it was too bright for me and it had that, you know, with the handles. This is a little bit too bright for me too, but it's so much fun. And I have been reaching for it a lot. I would say the cons of this is it's a little bit bright depending upon your wardrobe. I have found things that it works with and I have been enjoying it. Another con that a lot of people have is the tote bag and I get it. It does not bother me personally at all, but people don't like that, I understand. There are no feet on the bottom. Um, the back is just simple. Another pro, I like that there's a magnet here so it keeps that strap in. And another pro for me, I really like this pop of red on the inside. I think it's really, really pretty. I like the pocket. I like that it's crossbody. There's a lot of positive to the positives to this bag, I think, more than there are negatives. Which brings us to number two, which number two is the same bag, except for this color is rose dust. And show them to you side by side. I reach for the rose dust way more than I do the, oops, backwards, than I do the morning glory. But this is so much fun. I had to have it. It's so much fun. But this one is just a nice neutral, so it's going to be the exact same pros and cons on this one. But this color just goes with so much more. I have the large tote in the argan oil, and I have used that a lot um, going back and forth. Um, to Memphis uh, to see uh, my mom when she was in the hospital. I could fit a weekend's worth of stuff in the large one, but that's not a bag I would carry on a typical day. So, um, cause it is really heavy. It is all leather lined. Aha, uh -huh. another con. It is all leather lined. And if you really load it up, this will get heavy too. And it is just a big black hole, which for me, is a pro. I don't like the center dividers very much. So I really have enjoyed just being able to put whatever I want in here and I don't have to compromise. I can put my clear glasses in here. I can put my um, prescription, uh, well, they're both prescription, my sunglasses in here. I can put my Gucci cosmetic pouch. I mean, like I don't have to compromise, which is so nice. I've been using really small bags for a long time. I really apologize for touching my hair it is getting in my face. <laughs> so number one, and I think I used this bag for three weeks straight, which for me is, you know, I, if you love bags, even if you don't feel like buying any more bags right now, you like to switch them out. I'm always gonna love bags. I love bags. That's just who I am and that's just what it is. <laughs> but this one I picked up at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I have two other Coach Cassies. I have one in the taupe. This one is chalk, and this is the exact color of my other bag, taupe. And I have one in black. And when I saw this, um, when I was making my wish list, I was like, do I really need another Coach Cassie bag? And um, the black one had already sold out, which I already have black. And they had black, and they had this color, and they had like a fiery kind of orange color, which, it was beautiful, but so not me. 
And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it home and I'm gonna look at it. And so I ordered it on the way to Nordstrom. We went to Nordstrom the first day it was open to uh, regular card holders. <laughs> and um, I ordered it on the way there. We're in the store, they had these. And I'm looking at them and my husband's like, you don't need that. And I'm like, why don't I need that? He goes, you have that bag. I'm like, oh, do I now? I told him in the car on the way home. I'm like, I bought it on the way here. <laughs> he just laughed. But um, it has, somebody asked me if this could possibly be oxblood and not brown. I don't know. Y'all tell me if you own oxblood from Coach. I do not, so I'm not sure. But I really love the contrast. I just, I have just, I love it. I love the contrast. I don't know why I'm not a fan of the pochette Matisse on my frame. To me, that V just makes it not as feminine as this curve. I don't, they're basically the same bag, I don't know. So the underside of this handle is ivory, and then you've got this back pocket, phone fits very easily, and then you do have compartments here, but these, take the, the stuffing out here, um, but these don't bother me because they're very generous. So you've got a long crossbody strap, Again, I, I think it looks brown. What do y'all think? Do you think brown or you think oxblood? I'm really not sure. I think it's brown. But since they're so generous, this does not bother me at all. This back one um, is like, I just put like my wallet or something in there, but I can fit everything that I need. And it's so convenient. I can't name a con on this bag. This one I have zero cons on. Top handle, back pocket, crossbody that's kind of what i'm into these days and that's why it's been very hard to change out of it and i love this chalk color i was like do i need the chalk color because i have some bags in a similar color but i think it is so different having the tricolor and i actually like it better than the taupe one but i'm keeping the taupe one too because it's just it's such an easy to use bag it's just fabulous so now let's get into the five luxury bags okay so now for the luxury bags coming in at number five is my fendi sunshine shopper tote I love this bag. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It has wonderful capacity, but similar, and it's nowhere near as big, but similar to the Marc Jacobs large tote. For me, this is just too big for a handbag. So it gets used more on trips, car trips, things like that. Um, some of you did message me that own this bag that it does fit under the seat of the plane, but you kind of have to smush it and smush it in sideways. Being this light color, not gonna happen. So I do love this tortoise uh, lucite handles. I think it's beautiful. A con, no feet. The biggest con of this bag to me is there is zero organization, none at all, no zipper, nothing. So this is an organizer I have from Zamoni. And I'll show this to you really fast. This was gifted, um, it is not sponsored. I do not um, make any money from uh, Zamoni organizers, but they are kind enough to gift them to me. So it has zippers and um, it has pockets, which makes this bag just 10 million times better. A pro, this one does come with the shoulder strap and it hooks right here on the sides with the D-rings. But you see, there's not even one single slit compartment, no little pochette, nothing with this bag. But I think it's gorgeous. I love the stitching around the top of it. Um, I got this one for my birthday last year and just zero regrets. But it is coming in at number five because of those reasons. So number four is my Louis Vuitton, if I can get the handles up, <laughs> Montaigne BB. And this I think is a fabulous bag. It is in the color Rose Poudre. It is in their emprunt leather. It is from back when their bags were still expensive, but not insane. I'm not sure that they still make this one in the leather version. I know they have it. Um, well, I, I knew they did have it. <laughs> they may not. I haven't looked at Louis Vuitton or been in one uh, in a very, very, very long time. Maybe even this year. I honestly don't know if I've been in one this year. But um, I know they had it in the canvas. But huge pro. It has feet. It's all leather. 
I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. The handles are a bit of a con. Um, they're not stationary. And let me pull out again. I have an organizer in here from Zamoni. Let me pull this out so I can show you the bag a little bit better. Um, so when you're wearing this bag crossbody, first of all, it's I think it's too big for crossbody. And um, the strap is not adjustable, so that's a con. Let me pull the strap out. But this, the, the handles just kind of, see what I mean? They just kind of flop around. So you can put them down in here, which is how I keep the bag stored. But, you know, then that's kind of a pain if you want it to be top handle. So I usually just carry this without the strap these days. Um, but here is the strap not adjustable. A lot of Louis Vuitton straps are not adjustable. The length is fine on me. The length doesn't bother me at all, but I just think it's a pretty big bag for crossbody. The inside, this doesn't bother me because these sides are so big. I like the pinstripe lining. It has good organization. It has um, two slit compartments on this side, one slit compartment on this side, and then this center part is pretty big. So if you're worried about anything, you know, security wise, your wallet, whatever it may be, you can put it in there and have it zipped up, which I think is absolutely fabulous. So it's a great bag. Um, I no regrets on this one, but yeah, there's a few things that they could improve. <laughs> so coming in at number three is another one that I got for my birthday last year. And I love this bag so much. It is my Fendi Mini Peekaboo. But it's coming in at number three for a couple of reasons. I'm a little nervous of the color still. I've been using it, but I'm a little nervous of the color. But I'm really kind of worried about the suede. The suede has held up fine. I have not had any issues with it whatsoever. Um, it has the thicker crossbody strap. Um, I, I don't know why I'm so worried about the suede, but I am. <laughs> but this one has the zipper on that side and then just plain on this side and it has the raincoat. I hear so many people say that they get scratched by this bag by the, um, the lock here. I have never been scratched once. I have two of them. One of them I have had since 2018. What I do is I always put my hand palm side down. And I don't think our palms are as sensitive as the back of our hands. I've never ever had a problem with you know doing that. But I think it's a really, really beautiful bag. Another con though is if you are, like I take a lot of these bags with me on vacation. This one, I like to leave it open because it's just so much easier to use than closed. So that's a con. What I do on vacation though, is I will keep one side of it locked when I have it on crossbody, and I'll have my wallet or whatever that I'm concerned about in here. And then I'll leave the side that's closest to my body open and I'll have my sunglasses or whatever I need to get to easily. But um, I would prefer it to just be open. So it does have a little bit, you know, I think about, you know, security issues when you're carrying a bag like that that's open. Likewise with, with this one, but I do have that center um, zipper. So coming in at number four is my, <laughs> I'm telling you I'm rusty, my Alma BB in the Rose Ballerine in the Epi Leather. Purchased this one pre-loved from Fashion File. I think this is the most beautiful bag. And while I have them both out, just to show you the difference between Rose Poudre and, um, and Rose Ballerine. Ballerine is lighter and this one is a more warm tone. But this one is great. It is crossbody. I took this with me um, on vacation in, I think, March. I like the security of a zipper, especially when I'm traveling. It has gotten easier. I bought, um, like so many of you suggested, a zipper wax pin, and it has gotten easier to use. So thank you all for that suggestion. Again, I keep it stored with an organizer. Now this would be a con for a lot of people. The crossbody strap, again, is not adjustable. I'm five foot six, it works fine on me. By the way, just to save time, I'm not doing mod shots and what fits in these. I have videos on all of these bags. So if there's one you're really curious about, if you go to my homepage on YouTube, 
like click on Lux Purse Love, there's a little search engine there and you can type in anything that you've seen me talk about and the video should pop up. So you, if you wanna see all my BB, it should just pop up and show you mod shots and what fits and all that good stuff. And so let me take the organizer out. I find this not to be too small and it does have the beautiful uh, microfiber lining. The opening is not as big as the Empreinte one, but I don't find it difficult to get in and out of, and it's just gorgeous. Feet, 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 feet. I love feet. <laughs> I have a thing about feet on bags. I have been talking about feet on bags for five years on this channel. I'm like, why is there not more feet on bags? So coming in at number one, do you wanna guess? Does anybody have any guesses? Yes, yes, <laughs> it is my Loewe puzzle bag in the sand and mink colorway. I really, really thought early on in this year I was planning on purchasing the color um, light caramel for my birthday. And I decided I don't need two of these. Um, this is a fabulous color. I don't need another color. But I enjoy this bag so, so, so much, and especially for travel. This back compartment here, I will either put a card holder in here, or I'll at least just put the room key in here. Most hotels that uh, you stay at, you have to uh, show your room key or like light up a little, I don't know, little thing <laughs> lights up. So you can just hold your bag up to it and it lights up and then you can go on through. I love the top handle. I do wish the back pocket was big enough for a phone. It is not. Um, I love this security of this, the zipper, and then you have the flap on top of it as well. I feel like it's just a very secure bag to use. Again, a Zamoni organizer in there because this leather is so soft and smushy and I enjoy it being soft and smushy. I enjoy it being able to slouch and the organizer does not stop it from slouching but I want to keep this part structured. This one has an adjustable strap which is fabulous. I really like that I can make this short enough for a shoulder bag so let's say I'm traveling and I have dark denim and I don't want to wear it crossbody I can easily make this a shoulder bag. The biggest con on this bag and especially for as much as it costs. And when I did my one year review, I said it did not bother me. It does bother me. It didn't bother me at the time, but I've carried it a few more times, is that these clips do not swivel. They do not swivel. So let me give you an example. I still have out the Louis Vuitton one. So do you see how this completely turns around? So no matter how you put it on the bag, you just take a second and you can adjust it and it's cross body and it is absolutely, you know, perfect for you. Whereas this one, you put it on and you will have to unclip it and clip it back in again because it will twist funny because these do not swivel. And yeah, I, I totally remember that video being like, it doesn't bother me at all. It's not a big deal at all. It's annoying me now. I don't know. I don't know why it didn't before, but it's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker by any means. It is still coming in at number one and they don't make this colorway anymore. So I think it's extra special that it has the sand and the mink. I like the different colors of it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So those are my top 10 that I have been on heavy rotation with this summer. Don't forget to check out the Lily Silk uh, coupon codes that I'm gonna leave for you down below. And they also have a special collaboration going on right now with um, Lily Silk and Mika and some of the most beautiful floral blouses, just absolutely gorgeous. So check that out. I hope you have a great day and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Take care, bye-bye.